On this episode of Worthy of Me, I'll be showing a live playthrough of the demo of Saint Guitar. Before we get into it, I'd like to thank my current patrons for their support on my channel and any future ones. Currently, I'm only live streaming a single hour of gameplay on my YouTube channel and then stream the rest of it with patrons. If you don't know much about Saint Guitar yet, here's a little info. In this story and choice driven psychological horror detective game, you play as Benedict and Nicolay, two troubled godly men in search for their missing relative in an ancient god devoted town called Sveti Katar. Here, an unknown presence preys upon the weak and sways on devil worship and witchcraft. Evidence points to your missing relative being involved in the grisly murders and the occult. What is the truth? Are you also to blame for what happened? Will you put the pieces together and unravel the truth behind the town's centuries-old horrid presence? Or is madness going to be your fate? And now, the gameplay. Saint Kotar. What are the options? Help. <laughs> Please help me. Amp up this brightness? Nah. Just kidding. Subtitles on. Classic horror mode? I don't even want to know. I'd rather not know. I'm gonna turn the voice all the way up. You know, talking in dead bear language to me is like talking dirty. Like, gets me going every time. New game. I couldn't have missed the tallest building out here. This must be the lodge where Hatur resides. I wasn't expecting this type of gameplay. Is that my handsome face? I have a letter. Can I read it? I've already read it several times. Can I freaking read it again? could be wrong, but the way the warden held this stick was strange. It must have some special value for him. Right. It's people with it. Uh, it's obviously not one time read only. Okay, he's read it several times, duh. That's a suspicious looking eye right there. <laughs> I'll grab that map. Can I take this map? Might come in handy while going around this valley. Why not? Nobody wants it. Nobody needs it. Take it. It's been laying there for centuries. So you got a map that's just been laying there for centuries? Okay. Can I take this bowl too? And this ladder, and this painting, portrait. No food in there. Just some tiny crumbs. Can I eat it? My name is Luca, at your service. Uh, I'm looking for Dr. Hatur. I'm looking for Dr. Hatur. I have an appointment with him. No, you don't. Excuse me? How would you know that? The warden takes no visitors here, only in the asylum. And I trust you are well aware you don't want to be a patient of his. Can you tell me where the doctor's room is at least, jackass? Can you tell me where the doctor's room is? I don't know where it is. What do you mean? You are the receptionist here. I never saw Mr. Godin's room. I only heard about it from Mr. Wild. I have to speak to Mr. Hatur, not Mr. Goldin. I know, but like I said, I never saw his room. Dr. Hatur resides in Goldin's former room. Bro, I got this cane. I'm about to smack you with it. How is it possible that you don't know each and every room in this building? Have you just started working here? No, sir. I'm working here for quite some time, actually. But I'm not allowed to see Goldin's room, and I don't know where it's located. How can I find Hatur then? I don't know. Is he even in the lodge? Yes, he is. What an idiot! You should probably ask Mr. Wild about everything you need or want. 
I'm just a receptionist here. You're an idiot, that's what you are. Luca, if you'll excuse me. Certainly, sir. I'm done talking to you. Moron. I'd rather talk to this vase. Vaz. Oh, this is a lovely room. Martin Zuderfleet. Natalia Pieterzak. Timo. Renate Zimmermann. Victor, the 152 cat compa. <laughs> Is there anything worthwhile in here? Ivan Goldin. Are these like all the devs or something? <laughs> I would laugh. Franco Merzel. All right, let's go upstairs. Sir, you cannot go upstairs. What are you gonna Aren't do? Make me? Floors where the guest rooms are? They are, but only chosen guests are allowed to see them. Swear to God, dude. Swear to God. Not sure about its usage. It simply looks like a hole. It's a glory hole. The walking stick into the hole? The size of the shaft seems to fit. Huh, interesting idea. Let's see. Nothing. What are you doing? What's going on? I'm not allowed to see you. You're free to step inside. Mr. Y won't stop you. Don't beware. It is a one-way path. Once you get in, there is no coming back. You will have to find another way out. Where does this passage lead to? I will pretend I didn't hear the question, sir. You should know. You use the doctor's walking stick. Well, that's interesting. He's not allowed to look. Lucas said it's not possible to come back. Am I really ready to go in? I'm going in. Uh, what is this place? It's like I entered into a hellish nightmare and there's no going back now. How is this possible? I remember this painting from the orphanage. That's not ominous at all. Nocturne, I dare you to lick the walls. Brothers and sisters from the orphanage. Horrible souls deserve a horrible fate. My father, he used to tell me I'm nothing but a sin and called me God's degenerate. My mother, the only person who stood up for me. I must be losing my mind. Mother, is that really you? The painting from the orphanage. How did it end up in this place? You see what you want. Lies. In the real painting, I was standing by your side. And there were no other children. Your existence is changing. You have no family anymore, sir. Follow me. I'll help you find your woman and child. My woman? Mother. You mean my wife? <laughs> Who says you're a woman? waiting for you demonic slave where is she where's my mud no! ah! I didn't sound good did it <laughs> C 
so I still remember my father's exact words. This Bible is part of your body now. At all costs, you must keep it until death comes. It's full of matches in good condition. It looks like a holy weapon. Am I gonna run into a vampire or something? Go to the lodge, talk to Nicolay, help Vera get her love back. See the castle, talk to Victoria, talk to the town's priest. Oh, great. Where is a- this is you. Nothing over here? I wasn't sure I heard a voice, but I did. Victoria is here. It's locked. You know, you think they'd have like a flashlight or something. He just had matches though. I can't go over there? Are you serious? There's a building with a light on. Yeah, I can't go over there. Okay. Okay. With a bit of God's help and quick feet, I may be able to get to the lodge, then straight to the station before the last train leaves. Hurts so bad. Well, we're back at this place. So quickly since I was a first grader. And check out down here. I can see a white figure on the pier below. It must be a child. I'm not going there. I have to find Nikolai. Yeah, don't don't go near children. They're creepy. He didn't even shut it. Is he still hiding behind there? All alone here? Where's everyone else? Where's your owner? Throw him over here, through the passage. I'm not climbing up that thing. It looks unstable. Besides, I have no reason to do it. Dude, is he just gonna, like, hide behind that thing until someone closes that? <laughs> That's hilarious. Wait a minute, was that the demo? Was that just the entire demo right there? Nothing happened. Well, hardly anything happened. That was literally 14 minutes.
Like, I'm curious, but it didn't make me that curious. I actually thought this game was out though. St. Kutari. Hmm. I didn't think of another game. It didn't even show anything. It showed a creepy painting. That's it. That was the only thing. Did I actually not explore enough? Is that it? Thank you for watching this episode of Worthy of Me. If you found it worthy, leave a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, we'd love to have this part of our community. And I'll see you all on the next episode.